Hello and welcome to this complete Nexus vulnerability scanning tutorial. In this tutorial, we will have a look at this Nexus software and how we can use it to detect some vulnerabilities in network or our websites. And using this software, we can protect our network from any kind of potential cyber attacks. So without any, uh, so without wasting any time, let's get started. So this is the download page of Nexus. I will put this in the video's description or in the resources for you to download. Over here, I'm using your Windows 64-bit uh, version, and I will uh, be using uh, choosing the platform as Windows, and I will be downloading it. You can use Mac OS or Linux if you want to install. Over here, once you click on the download, the download will start. I have already downloaded Nexus on this uh, device so i'm not going to install it again but it's very easy once you install it you will get an exe file for windows you have to just click next 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 and your software will get installed so this download page will be in the description uh, once you get the download they will give you a url a url and once uh, you have to copy and save this url like for example i have saved this in a notepad so once you go, go to this URL and load it, you will uh, you will get this login page. So in this login page, while you were setting uh, up the Nexus, the one uh, once you had downloaded it, you have to put the same credentials. Over here, my username was Aryan and Note, and I will enter the password that I had put during the setup process. Let me enter the password till uh, that time. So I have entered the password and as you can see, uh, this is the main screen that we get. I have not created any scan yet. So, but I have been yet. So, uh, this is the first look of the Nexus software. Once, uh, when you are installing it for the first time, it will, uh, you will have a notification here of installing some plugins. So don't need to worry, have a coffee and let the entire plugins get installed. And only then start working on uh, start working with it. Or else it can give many false positive. Or in certain cases, his scan will not work. You will not get this option of new scan that is available here. So this is the Nessus software. Over here you have a scan tab. As you can see, over here you will get the list of all scans that you have uh, that are currently running, as well as the scans that you had done earlier. The next tab is the settings tab. In the settings tab, you can get the uh, get the information of your software, the activation code, the expiry date, and the last updated plugins. Then this is about the license utilizations when it was used on what servers. Then this is of the software update settings. Like if you want, you can automatically update this software. I've set it to update all auto automatically and daily. You can modify the option as and when you want. And you have to click on save once you have uh, updated the settings. Then password encryption if you want to change the password. And events like uh, any kinds of events that might uh, might occur. Once you have done this, you will see all my scan, on scan, over here you will get all the scan that you had conducted. Here, over here you will have a trash bin. Over here, uh, any scan that you had created earlier will be here that you have deleted, you know, will be in this uh, trash bin, which is a recycle bin like thing. Uh, so if you want, you can, uh, if you want to access the scan that you had done earlier, you can access through it from here, or else you can permanently delete it. Over here in this resources section, you have some policies. Over here, it, what is the use of policy? So the use of policy is to create a custom template or action that you want to uh, happen during a scan. For example, uh, when you are testing a ta target application and you, want, you don't want it to perform a certain kind of scan. For example, SQL injection scan. Uh, you don't want it to occur. So according to that, you can create a, uh, create a policy and through it, uh, you can put a regulation uh, telling it not to do this, uh, this kind of scan. 
so you can also yeah, import any kind of uh, policy that the company has given you earlier or you can also create a new policy i'll click on the new create a new policy option and over here you have many kinds of uh, already available templates over here you have the host discovery so host discovery is a simple time post scan that is used to discover live host and open ports on a network so it is uh, just uh, just for like uh, in a information gathering phase that you can use to see if the host is alive and what are on the ports that are available or that are open in that post then in vulnerability scanning you have the basic network scan means it will scan the entire uh, entire system uh, entire syst uh, system and look for some basic vulnerabilities that are in the system uh, in the advanced scan you can configure a scan without any recommendations in advanced dynamic scan you can co configure a plugin and scan and scan it the, my most favorite important is the malware scan the malware scan uh, is a type of scan that can be used to scan a windows or a unix system like for a uh, for example if you want to check uh, that uh, if you if your device is on a network and you want to ha check if the, does it have a malware or not so remotely from here entering the ip address you can scan uh, scan whether it has some malicious or a mal malware software also you have some mobile device scan uh, which is a, a premium uh, version for using that you need to use a premium version then the most important is the web application testing scan so this is used for testing a web application uh, testing web applications especially like for example it can be uh, sql injection xss vulnerability etc then uh, the most important scan out of this is the WannaCry ransomware scan I also want to create a ransomware. What is a ransomware? So, a ransomware in which your uh, device gets compromised, it has been hacked. And to, uh, uh, and to remove the malicious software or the WannaCry virus, we can use the scan, detect it, and easily remove it from our uh, device. Then, Sp uh, Spectral and Meltdown is used to check for CSV uh, vulnerabilities. Like, it will give you a list of all the CSV vulnerabilities that is on a network or a web application. Uh, page here. Then you have the uh, zero logon sc uh, log scan, then uh, you have the MX exchange scan, then you have the one of the most important active directory scanning, uh, which is uh, active directory is currently in most in trend, so you can use it for scanning per to scan active di uh, directories, and then for shell scan, and then you have some uh, ransomware ex uh, ecosystem. Then these are all the compliance that are used in a uh, that can be used in paid version. Then over here you have a plugin rule for there are many various plugins that are installed. So for example, you want to uh, uh, want to put a certain restriction or a rule on a plugin, you can enter the uh, ID and you can put a rule on it. Also you can on also you can add a plugin over here. The, the, then this is the option of uh, Terascan. Terascan is, is a code analyzer and used to automate pipeline to uh, uh, to violation of secure infrastructure. So it is it uh, it is a scan that can be used to check like whether uh, the web application has been made on a secure infrastructure environment. You can enable it, but I have disabled it. So now to uh, now we will begin with a new scan so I over here I will click on new scan over here uh, in the scan I am going to choose the type of scan as I have explained this what are the different types of scan available over here so oh, over here I am going to take a web application test scan so I am going to select this so over here I am going to uh, use a website from one world map where you can practice hacking uh, legally so over here, I will put the name. For example, the name over here is World Web. Then, if you want to put a description, you can put it over here. I'm going to put this is a practice scan. 
then if you want you can put a folder in which you can you can create a new folder if you want over here i'm going to store it in my scan then over here i can put all the target on the target like it can be an ip address it can be n number of ip address for in a network in a network there are many devices like for example 20 30 etc so so you can uh, so you so you can use this uh, option to put all the IP addresses that are available. So over here I'm going I'm using this website uh, called as well uh, oneweb.com. Let me open it for you. Yeah. So this is the uh, oneweb.com website. So I'm going to ch choose this website for scary purposes. So I will copy its uh, uh, web URL and I'm going to paste it here. You can also enter an IP address if you want, if the uh, if you want, as well. In credentials, you can select a uh, if the website has a login functionality. You can choose the uh, credential features. Uh, you will uh, you can uh, like you have to choose the authentication method and through which it can log in log in. Giving this functionality of login is very much important, so it can give you a deeper, uh, so it can uh, dive in the vulnerabilities, can dive in deeper and identify the vulnerabilities. For example, over here, HTTP login scan or import, uh, or cookie import scan or automatic authentication. Or yeah, if I select the HTTP login scan, you have to put the username, password, the login page. For in the login.php or slash login, then login submission page means the uh, page that gets load after the page uh, page gets load after the login has been any uh, after you have successfully entered the username and password that is after successfully login, then login parameters that can be gate or post parameters for example slash um, over here they have given an example you can use you can use this. Then over here, global credential setting, you can select the method get or post. So over here, you have different kinds of plugins, the SSS plugin, plugin web server plugins. You can select any one you want, wow, every, every one, every one you, uh, any plugin you want. Then uh, I will go back to the settings. Then over here, you have the schedule option. If you enable this option, you can schedule it. Wherever you want this scan to occur, you want this scan to occur frequently once, start time, end time, are you like once daily, weekly, monthly, start time, main time, time, and you can also select the time zone. I'm from uh, New Delhi, so I will select the New Delhi time zone. I have it is a pre uh, premium uh, functionality, so you do get the NSS professional. So I want to disable it currently. So notifications, uh, so notification is uh, necessary when like. Now, for you to know, uh, whenever uh, for you to get a notification that your scan is, uh, uh, that your scan, that your scanning has been finished. So to uh, enable this feature, you need an SMTP server that needs to be configured. So I have opened in the net tab. So over here, you need to connect your mail SMTP server and enter all these uh, details, and you you can send a test email and then save it. I currently don't have a SMTP server, but you can get those for our website for free and you can uh, use those. So once a scan has been completed, so you can get a notification on your mail like this scan has been updated, these this are the vulnerabilities. So you can use this. So in discovery, you can uh, you can use any scan types like what call like you want to scan all ports or the most common ports like the 80. Eight zero or eight zero eight zero yeah eighty 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 that we see or eighty so you can use those scans of uh, scan type over here. Then you have the assist spread. So over here, since I've selected the web vulnerability scanning, so over here you can choose what kind of uh, scan do you want. So this first functionality is a uh, like um is like us the complexity is medium, so it will do uh it will take time. But it won't take that much time. The second type of scan is a quick scan, so it will scan for uh, uh, the website like uh, very quickly within uh, 10, uh, 10 minutes. You will get the entire result. And if you select the option of complex, then it will go deeper and deeper and give you a complete report.
Over, over here, I will go for scan for car. Known vulnerabilities. Also, here you can choose your yeah, custom scan as well if you want. Then after after going to uh, after we're done with assessment, then you over here yeah, the main important feature that we need is report writing. So over here yeah, you can select how you want the report to be done. You want to uh, override the report. For example, like uh, you are scanning the same website second time and you don't want the previous result to be done, then you can use this override functionality. Then uh, you can also select what all outputs you want. Display unreachable host, display Unicode character, display you, if you want the, if the host responded to the thing, then you want that, you can use that. After that, then you have the advanced feature. Over here, you can select the scan type. Scan, low scans bandwidth or custom scan type means how much resources on your local PC that is your current laptop or PC that you are using how much resources of CPU should it use so I'm going to set it to default if you have a low end PC uh, like a low end PC then you can scan with low bandwidth so it won't hang you can do multitasking as well but one thing to remember is that it will take time but it's fine on this after this things has been done after I have set up this, I will click on save. So, this is how, uh, after saving it, this is how it will come. So, to launch, to start the scanning procedure, you have to click on this arrow button and it will start launching the scan for you. So, I am going to click on launch button and it will start scanning right now. So, uh, let's wait for a few minutes for this scan to be completed. Till that time, have a coffee break and once the scan is done, we will come back. So our scan has been completed. As, this, uh, as you can see over here, there is a tick mark. So this means that the scan has been completed. So I will click on this. And over here you can see that you, over here we have two, uh, three terms. Uh, host, vulnerabilities and history. So over here in host, you will have all the hosts that you have put in this scanning. Like I already had kept one, but you can, as I said previously, like you can put n number of IP addresses. So this over here, you will have all uh, host wise vulnerabilities of it. And over here, if you look, you will have a graph telling that how many bugs are like, uh, how, like a graph comparing how the percentage of bugs. So like 82% has some information given. Uh, then this six uh, percent are medium bugs. So yes, six percent medium bugs. And uh, twelve percent are no twelve percent are no uh, no impact bugs. So we will go to uh, vulnerabilities. So these are all the vulnerabilities over here. If you look at the first vulnerability, it is of web the web application vulnerable to click jagging. So over here, if you look at the description over here, it is given the description of what is click jagging. Then over here, they have given us solutions. If you want to read more about it, they have given over here all the references. They have also given the CWE uh, number. Also here, they have given an output for you to reproduce this issue as well. That they have given the plugin details like the server, uh, server nitty, then a version, type, family, and risk information as well. Then if you go back, you will, we will look at another word. So if you see a folder, then uh, then oh, in that folder, there will be many vulnerabilities. So example, you will, it is written web server, multiple issues. And over here, inside this, there are three more vulnerabilities. Like web trans uh, transmit clear text credentials, or website autocomplete parser. So these are the vulnerabilities. Then we will go back again. Then over here you have one more folder, then over here they have given some information about it. So, you can uh, get as much information as possible over here. In, if you go to the history tab that is here, then over here you will get the history of all the scans that you have come, uh, done on this particular target. So like you had an example, you had a uh, scan like one month ago. So you can refer it again over here. And then over here in launch, you can again launch a scan or configure. Then uh, over here, you can also export it to Nessus. So for example, if you want to transfer the scan from one Nessus software to other, so you can 
export it to Nessus and take it to another local merchant. So now the most important feature I believe is the report creation. So if we click on this report, it will create a report. So over here I'm selecting the PDF and over here you can select a report template. So we want the complete list of vulnerabilities, detailed vulnerabilities, one host, plugins and etc. So I will select complete list of vulnerabilities. Uh, if you want any filters you can apply. Then I will click on generate report to generate this uh, report. So I'm going to click on generate report. So this uh, report will get generated in few uh, seconds. So I will download this, uh, save it and download this. And if I open it, I as you can see over here the report has been created for uh, you for uh, more portability over here all the vulnerabilities then they have given the de description of it as well oh over here one of the things that can keep you updated about Nessus is this tenable uh, news so if you read more you can get what are the new features in it and what uh, and also some research about the vulnerabilities you can produce it you can su subscribe to their newsletter as well so this was about the Nessus tutorial or uh, the complete Nessus tutorial if you have any questions, any doubts, please let me know in the comment section. I am available 24 by 7 and I will solve all your doubts. If you like this video, please do subscribe and, uh, and click the like button so I can get motivation to create more and more cyber security content. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye. in the sky gazing far into the night i raise my hand